good morning students today we discuss about another measure of dispersion which is called as the median for a data for a data when class intervals are given when class intervals are given you have already discussed about uh, how to find the median for a raw data median is the middlemost item when the items are arranged in the order of magnitude and if the number of observations is odd and number of observations is even you know how to calculate median now the next concept is median for a data when class intervals are given median is calculated using the formula median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus c into h divided by f copy down l plus l plus n by 2 minus c into h divided by f where l is the lower limit of the median class where l is the lower limit of the median class median class n by 2 is equal to sigma fi divided by 2 c cumulative frequency cumulative frequency just above just above the median class just above the median class h class width of the median class class width of the median class f frequency of the median class so all the terms c h and f are related with the median class and median class is that class whose cumulative frequency is like, like the previous formula median class median class is that class whose cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is just greater than or equal to n by 2 hmm? okay so once again median for a data when class intervals are given class intervals are given means it will be of the form for example like 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 etc and so on make sure that the class intervals are continuous for every statistical problem it is it is advisable to note or do the problem by making the class intervals as continuous median is calculated using the rule l plus n by 2 minus c into h divided by f and i have given what are the notation standing for l lower limit of the median class n by 2 sum of the frequencies divided by 2 c cumulative frequency just above the median class h class width of the median class f frequency of the median class and uh, what is median class median class is that class is cumulative frequency is just greater than or equal to n by 2 now we will discuss problems based on this one calculate mean deviation about median 
calculate mean deviation about median for the following data mean deviation about median for the following data mean deviation about median for the following data marks marks 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 number of students number of students that is the frequency 6 8 14 16 4 2 okay so it is mean deviation about median what is mean deviation about median mean deviation about median is equal to sigma fi into modulus of xi minus median divided by sigma fi sigma fi so here first you have to find out what is the median for that the data values are given how to get the median now let us find the sum of the frequencies 14, 28, 28, uh, 20, 48 and 2 is equal to 50. Frequency is total sum of frequency is equal to 50. Now you will find out because I have uh, all of you write down median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus C into H divided by F. So first thing you have to find out the median. You will Class intervals are continuous. Okay, so everything is fine with the question. Now, next we will find out the cumulative frequency 6, 6 plus 8, 14, 14 plus 14, 28, 28 plus 16 is equal to 44, 44 plus 4 is equal to 48, 48 plus 2 is equal to 50. So, these two are equal. Cumulative frequency is equal. Cumulative frequency is equal some total frequency is equal to the last cumulative frequency. So our calculations are correct. Now next one you have to find out n by 2. n by 2. What is n by 2 is equal to 50 by 2 is equal to 25. Now you are going to choose the median class. Median class is that class whose cumulative frequency is just greater than or equal to n by 2. Here it is not 14. Cumulative frequency is up to 14, 28, okay, because 25 is included in 28. So, median class is that class whose cumulative frequency is just greater than or equal to n by 2, median class. Now, cumulative frequency you have found out. So, you can find out L. What is L? L is the lower limit of the median class. L is the lower limit of the median class n by 2 you have found out it is equal to 25 c cumulative frequency just above the median class cumulative frequency just above the median class it is equal to 14 cumulative frequency f frequency of the median class frequency frequency of the median class is equal to 14 14 and h h is a class with the 20 minus 30 is equal to or 30 minus 20 is equal to 10. So, what is median is equal to? Median is equal to <coughs> 20 plus n by 2, 25 minus 14 into 10 divided by 14 is equal to 20 plus 11 into 10 divided by 14 is equal to 27.86 27.86 
So, this is our median 27.86. Now, the question is mean deviation about median. That means you have to find out xi minus median. Next column will be modulus of xi minus median. Next column will be fi into modulus of xi minus median. xi minus median modulus of xi minus median fi into modulus of xi minus median. Now for that one more thing is required. What is xi? xi is the middle value of the class intervals xi. So I will find out xi first. xi 0 plus 10 10 by 2 is equal to 5 15 25 35 45 55 now i am using the calculator and instead of finding xi minus median i am finding out modulus of xi minus median so that all the values will be positive so that that is it uh, you have to use the calculator moreover the difficulty is that median you have got as a decimal number. So, to make the calculation faster and more accuracy, use the calculator. So, modulus of xi minus median, it will be 22.86, 12 12.86, 2.86, 7.14, 17.14, 27.14. And next one will be fi into modulus of xi minus median. That is with the frequency you have to multiply modulus of xi minus median. You get 137.16, 68.56, 54.28, fi into modulus of xi minus median. Okay. And what is the sum is equal to? Sum is equal to, you are getting it as 517.5. Five hundred and seventeen point one six. So, what about mean deviation about median? Mean deviation about median is equal to sigma fi into modulus of xi minus median divided by sigma fi. That is equal to five hundred and seventeen. Five hundred and seventeen point one six divided by sigma fi. Sigma fi is equal to fifty. So, the answer comes to 10.34. So, I hope uh, this is clear to you when the median for a data when class intervals are given. So, first of all, you have to find the median and how to get the median? Median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus C into H divided by F where L is the lower limit of the median class. N by 2 is sum of the frequencies divided by 2. C is the cumulative frequency just above the median class. H is the class width of the median class and F is the frequency of the median class. So, all the terms L C, F, H, L, uh, F, H are all related with the median class. How to get the median class? Median class is that class whose cumulative frequency is just greater than or equal to n by 2. So, you find out uh, number of uh, frequencies are given. Find out the cumulative frequencies. Then find out n by 2. Circle it. This will be the median class. 
then find out xi values. xi values are the middle values of each class. That is lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. You got the, that one. And modulus of xi minus median. I, yesterday also I skipped one step. That is xi minus median. Because you are, all of you are using the calculator, you can straight away find out modulus of xi minus median. And all the values will be positive. Next column will be fi into modulus of xi minus median. Frequency multiplied by this one. You get the answer. And what is mean deviation about median is equal to answer is equal to 10.34. Is it clear to you? Yes. Okay. Calculate calculate mean deviation about mean mean deviation about mean mean deviation about mean for the following data for the following data mean deviation about mean for the following data. So, it is mean, class intervals 95 to 105, 105 to 115, 115 to 125, 125 to 135, 135 to 145, 145 to 155. The frequencies are given. 9, 13, 26, 30, 12, 10. Okay. Frequencies are given. So, it is mean deviation about mean. Mean deviation about mean. So, when class intervals are given, how do you calculate the mean is equal to mean is equal to a plus sigma fi di into h divided by sigma fi where a is the assumed mean d is equal to xi minus a by h h is the class width sigma fi is equal to sum of the frequencies. So, let us find out what is the sum of the frequencies. Sum of the frequencies is equal to 100. Now, let us find out di. What is di is equal to? di is equal to xi minus a divided by h. For that, you have to get the assumed mean. For to get the assumed mean, you require the middle values of the classes. Mid values of the classes. So, how to get the mid value of the classes? Lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. That will be equal to 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Okay. Now, what is A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 values are there. So, you can choose uh, mm, any one of them as a mid value. 130 as a mid value. So, assumed mean A is equal to, assumed mean A is equal to 130. Next column will be DI. DI is equal to xi minus a divided by h and what is h is equal to h is equal to 10 so this one 130 minus 130 divided by 10 is equal to 0 this one will be 120 minus 130 divided by 10 
that is minus 10 by 10 is equal to minus 1 this will be minus 2 this will be minus 3 the, here it will be 140 minus 130 divided by 10 10 by 10 is equal to 1 150 minus 130 20 by 10 is equal to 2 di next column you have to create fi into di fi into di that is frequency into di 9 into minus 3 minus 27 13 into minus 2 minus 26 minus 26 next one will be 0 12 and 20 when you add minus 12 17 19 6 and 1 7 this will be positive 32 so the sum will be equal to minus 47 minus 47 sigma fidi is equal to so what is x bar is equal to x bar is equal to a what is a what is a is equal to a is equal to 130 plus sigma fidi sigma fidi is minus 47 into h h is a class with 10 divided by sigma fi is equal to 100 130 minus 4.7 is equal to 125.3 this is a mean now question is mean deviation about me so you will find out modulus of xi minus mean modulus of xi minus mean and next column will be fi into modulus of xi minus me so mean deviation about mean is equal to sigma fi into modulus of xi minus mean divided by sigma fi so you, you will find out modulus of xi minus mean fi into xi minus mean this will be equal to this total sum will be equal to 1128.8 you have to do the calculation this is equal to 1128.8 divided by 100 sigma fi is equal to 100 and that will be equal to 11.288 modulus of xi minus x bar the calculation you do with the calculator next column will be fi into modulus of xi minus x bar that also you do the sum will be equal to 1128.8 mean deviation about mean is equal to sigma fi into modulus of xi minus x bar divided by sigma fi i hope it is clear to you so let us recall what you have studied in the beginning measures of central tendency there are two uh, there are three that is me arithmetic mean or average median and mode for your syllabus mode is not included so we focus on arithmetic mean and median mean to calculate when it is a grouped data and when it is an ungrouped data median also when it is an ungrouped data and for a grouped data measures of dispersion measures of dispersion you studied about two um, uh, three range mean deviation about mean mean deviation about median and standard deviation range 
what is range range is the maximum value of the data minus the minimum value of the data it is not a reliable measurement of dispersion because all values are not taken into consideration we are bothered about only the extreme values that is the minimum value and the maximum value next one we studied about mean deviation about mean as well as mean deviation about median hmm? uh, when grouped data is given when ungrouped data is given how to calculate and the last one we are going to study is about a uh, standard deviation variance coefficient of variation etc and so on so this is the best measure of dispersion that is standard deviations considered to be the best measure of dispersion in central tendency arithmetic mean is considered to be the me best measure of central tendency standard deviations considered to be the best measure of dispersion now let us consider what is standard deviation what is variance and so on it is very very important but quite easy for an ungrouped data for an ungrouped data that is you are given some values like x1 x2 etc xn just some values are given to you what is standard deviation this is standard deviation sigma we read it as sigma it is equal to square root of sigma xi minus x bar the whole squared divided by small letter n and x bar how do you find out it is our mean that is equal to sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations and n is the number of observations so suppose when you calculate sigma you are getting it is equal to 3 after calculation you are getting sigma is equal to 3 from standard deviation you can calculate so this is standard deviation standard deviation and variance I may ask you to find out what is the variance of the data variance of the data variance is square of standard deviation which is equal to 9 variance is square of standard deviation that is square of standard deviation sometimes variance may be given to you variance is equal to 100 what is standard deviation is equal to square root of 100 you take only the positive value which is equal to 10 so there is a relationship between variance and standard deviation variance is the square of standard deviation now when the data is given when the raw data is given that is when only the values are given standard deviation is calculated using the formula square root of sigma xi minus x bar the whole square divided by n <coughs> now suppose the frequencies are also given xi values are given x1 x2 x3 etc xn and the corresponding frequencies are also given f1 f2 f3 etc fn in that case standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of sigma fi into xi minus x bar the whole squared divided by sigma fi where x bar is calculated using the formula sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi that is the only difference here so and sigma fi is equal to sum of the frequencies but when class intervals are given class intervals are given 
class intervals are given. When class intervals are given, standard deviation or variance is calculated using the formula x squared by n squared into n into sigma fi di squared minus sigma fi di the whole squared variance. So, standard deviation will be square root of variance. You get the answer. x squared by n squared. H. What is H? H is the class width. Class width. N. Sum of frequencies. Sum of frequencies. You are familiar with the word, with the notation di because here you are using measure of central tendency x bar. So in the same way, what is di is equal to? Di is equal to xi minus a divided by h. So this is when class intervals are given, sigma squared is equal to h squared by n squared into n into sigma fi di the whole squared minus sigma fi d sigma fi di squared minus sigma fi di the whole square. So take down the formula standard deviation standard deviation sigma that is equal to square root of sigma xi minus x bar the whole squared by n when raw data is given and in that case x bar is calculated using the rule sum of the observations divided by number of observations. When frequencies are given sigma is equal to square root of sigma fi into xi minus x bar the whole squared divided by sigma fi. In that case x bar is calculated using the formula sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. When class intervals are given you are finding out the variance because once you get the variance you can easily get the standard deviation because variance is the square of standard deviation or when you take the square root of variance you get the standard deviation. The formula is h squared by n squared into n into sigma fi di squared minus sigma fi di the whole squared. So this is standard deviation and variance. Okay, I hope it is clear to you. Now we will do some questions based on this. Find the variance for the following data. Find the variance for the following data. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, 22, 24. So, this is a raw data. It is a raw data or an ungrouped data. Ungrouped data. How to get the standard deviation or the variance? Variance is equal to 1 by n sigma xi minus x bar the whole squared. So, what is n equal to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Now, here you have to find out x bar. So, I will write the values. x values are 6, 8, 10, 
ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फोर ओके एक्स बार सिग्मा एक्साई डिवाइडेड बाय एन बिकॉज ओनली द डेटा वैल्यूज आर गिवन व्हाट इज सिग्मा एक्साई इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा एक्साई व्हेन यू ऐड ऐड ऑल टुगेदर यू गेट 150 150 डिवाइडेड बाय एन एन इज इक्वल टू 10 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 15 कंसीडर द फार्मूला एक्साई माइनस एक्स बार द होल स्क्वायर so first you will find out x i minus x bar 6 minus 15 minus 9 8 minus 15 minus 7 10 minus 15 minus 5 12 minus 15 minus 3 14 minus 15 minus 1 16 minus 15 1 18 minus 15 3 5 22 minus 15 7 this is 9 Next column will be looking into the formula x i minus x bar the whole squared eighty one forty nine twenty five nine one one nine twenty five forty nine and eighty one eighty one. Now find the total sum. The total sum is equal to three hundred and thirty. So, stand variance is equal to <coughs> sigma x i minus x bar. The whole square you have already written the formula, so I'll substitute over there. It is equal to three hundred and thirty divided by ten. Is equal to thirty three. That is a variance. So, what about the standard deviation? Standard deviation is equal to square root of thirty-three, approximately equal to five point seven four. Five point seven four. Okay. So, this is an ungrouped data. When an ungrouped data, how to get the variance? And from variance, what is the standard deviation? Now let us consider a grouped data when frequencies are given. Second second question is a grouped data when frequencies are given. Its i values are four, eight, eleven, seventeen, twenty, twenty-four, and thirty-two. The frequencies are three, five, nine, five. Four, three, and one. Okay. So you have to calculate the variance. It is equal to since the the data values and the frequencies are given. It is equal to one by capital N sigma f i into x i minus x bar the whole squared. And for standard deviation, find out the square root of variance. Now, in this case, x bar. How do you calculate x bar? It is equal to sigma f i x i divided by sigma f i. So, what is sigma f i? Seventeen, twenty two, twenty two, twenty two plus uh, oh twenty six, twenty nine, thirty, thirty. F i into x i, so next column will be F i into x i. Four threes are twelve, forty, ninety nine, eighty five, eighty, 
12, 6 and 1, 7, 32. So, this is equal to 420. This is equal to 420 divided by 30. This is equal to 14. 14. 14. So, next column will be xi minus x bar xi minus x bar 12 minus 14 minus 2 hmm. 4 minus 14 is equal to minus 10 8 minus 14 minus 6 11 minus 14 minus 3 uh, 17 minus 14 3 6 10 18 next one will be xi minus x bar be whole squared 136 9 9 36 100 324 okay next column will be fi into xi minus x bar the whole squared 3 into 100 is equal to 300 these two together 180, 81, 45, 144, 300, 324. And when you add all together, 1374. 1374. So, X bar. So, this is equal to sigma squared is equal to fi into that is 1 3 7 4 divided by 30 it is equal to 45.8 and what about the standard deviation root of 45.8 which is equal to 6.77 clear so you are finding out the mean in a different way you have already studied how to find the mean sigma fi into xi minus x bar the whole square divided by n so x bar is sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi 420 by 30 which is equal to 14 and Next column, you find out xi minus x bar. Some values will be positive, some values will be negative. Sometimes values can even be equal to 0. Now, next one, xi minus x bar, the whole squared. So, that all values becomes positive. fi into xi minus x bar, the whole squared. Take the sum and the sum divided by sum of the frequencies gives you the variance. This is the variance. And this will be the standard deviation. Square root of variance is the standard deviation. Isn't it clear to you? Yes, it's very simple. Next one, we will discuss about standard deviation or the variance when class intervals are given. It is equal to, the variance is equal to h squared by n squared into n into sigma 
f y d i square minus sigma f y d i the whole square. This is the variance. Once you get the variance, you can get the standard deviation. Take down the question. Calculate. Calculate. Mean. Variance. Variance and standard deviation. For the following data, class intervals 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. The frequencies are given. 3, 7, 12, 15, 8, 3 and 2. Sum of the frequencies is equal to 50. Now, you have to get x bar. A plus sigma f i d i into h divided by sigma f i. For that, the next column will be x i. Middle value, lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85 and 95. Middle value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can choose 65 as the, the assumed mean. Assumed mean A is equal to 65. Next one will be DI is equal to XI minus A divided by H. So corresponding to this it will be equal to 0. Next one will be minus 1 minus 2, minus 3. You know how to calculate 1, 2 and 3. Next one, next column will be Fi into Di. Fi into Di. 3 into minus 3, minus 9, minus 14, minus 12, 0. 8 into 1, 8. 3 into 2, 6. 3 into 2, 6. So this will be equal to minus 35 and this will be equal to 20. So the sum is equal to minus 15. So x bar is equal to 65 plus minus 15 into class width. Class width h is equal to 10 divided by sum of the frequencies 50. So I will go 3 times equal to 65 minus 3 which is equal to 62 so arithmetic mean is equal to 62 now you have to find out the standard deviation so next what is the standard deviation h squared by n squared h you know n you know uh, fi di squared so you find out di squared that is 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9. Next column will be F i d i squared frequencies. 3 into 9, 27. 7 into 4, 28. 12 into 1, 12, 0. 8 into 1, 8. 3 into 4, 12. 2 into 9, 18. Fi di squared. Next one will be Fi di the whole squared. Fi di is here. That is equal to 81 
14 into 14, 196, 144, 0, 64, 36 and 36. So, sigma fi di squared. What is sigma fi di squared? It is equal to 105. So, what is the variance? It is equal to h squared by n squared into n into fi di squared minus sigma fi di the whole squared sigma fi di the whole squared Six, seven, eleven, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-seven, ten, nineteen, nineteen plus four, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-two, thirty-five, three, three, four, five. And when you calculate, you get. equal to 100 by So, what is the standard deviation? It's equal to square root of 201. Fourteen point one seven seven. Okay, this is how you find the mean, variance and standard deviation. Okay, so we will have to do some more questions based on this. Revise the formulas and come. Thank you.